Cameron and his uh, colleague had looked at what are the prominent positive practices uh, in various organizations. The study which was quoted in the previous slide was exploratory in nature. They, they compiled various positive practices being discussed in the literature and based on the existing literature, they prepare the battery of 114, 114 questions about positive practices. They ran this uh, data through a large number of uh, respondents in, in a financial sector company in their first study. We are going to look at that study a little in, in more detail in just a minute from now. Based on the responses of the data from a financial company and the many, I think about 40 units. 40 subunits of that organization, they culled out uh, these 6 uh, positive practices. These positive practices are about caring, compassionate support, forgiveness, inspiration, meaning, respect, integrity and gratitude. These were the 6 factors emerged through exploratory factor analysis, exploratory factor analysis of the data collected on 114 items related to various positive practices. Uh, caring here means uh, people care for and are interested and maintain the responsibility for one another as friends, not as competitors. Compassionate support is about people providing support for one another including kindness and compassion when others are struggling in their professional or personal front. Forgiveness, many a time people are not able to give their best and even at times with the good intentions, intentions for the benefit of the uh, organization and the, and the stakeholders, this at times make mistakes and make errors. Being uh, practice of forgiveness about those errors. That is another very important practice uh, identified as the positive practice in the POS. Inspiration, people being inspired to contribute to the greater cause, people being inspired to contribute for the greater cause and inspiring each other to give their best performance to realize that cause, to uh, meet that cause. Meaning is another positive practice that means people finding their work meaningful. They are able to see that their work, they are not just a cog in the huge wheel called organization, but they can see their performance, their role has a positive impact on their uh, organization and also on the society. Respect, integrity and gratitude is another practice, another set of practice rather. Uh, it is about people treating each other with the respect, with dignity and helping each other to maintain their integrity. They are having trust in each other and having gratitude towards organization and towards each other. So, these are the positive practices dimensions identified in the Cameroon's uh, work, um, uh, in the work of Cameroon and his colleagues. And uh, they conducted this study uh, on two very different sites. Uh, the objective of this study was to look at whether positive practices make business organizations uh, have to earn profit. If they do not earn profit, they uh, cannot survive, they cannot conduct their business, they cannot exist and if they cannot exist, what good they can do to their employees, to their internal, who are the internal stakeholders or to their customers, suppliers or society which are the external stakeholders. So, uh, we need not to look at positive organization practice as instrument to, real, uh, to earn more profit, 
but nonetheless we need to examine whether uh, we need to examine that profitability and positive organization practices need not be at the lower head to each other they should not be uh, the zero sum game and this is a open question whether these good things uh, also support or at least do not hinder uh, earning profit and achieving business results. So, the first study uh, was in the financial service business unit paper authors write that they chose financial service business unit because by nature of the business is organization processes and organization conversations were predominantly focused on wealth creation. For them making profit is the most important objective because of the very nature of the function was like that. So, they conducted the survey in that organization where by nature people had to talk about money, people had to be very very conscious about the financial profit and generating financial wealth for the internal stakeholders. And when they conducted this study in the in about 40 sub units of the financial uh, service business unit, they found that there was a significant association between financial performance, work positive work climate uh, and that has a negative association with the employee turnover and turnover intentions. Uh, and also uh, senior executive evaluation about the organization was higher where the positive practices were more prevalent. So, this was one study and second study was conducted in a altogether different unit which was by nature uh, aimed at providing care and concern to the internal and external stakeholders that is a uh, health care unit. In the health care unit uh, th we know the main internal stakeholders are the doctors and uh, nurses many of them or we can say most of them join this profession out of their love for humanity out of their uh, inspiration to serve humanity. So, uh, this was naturally a uh, an organization where some of the positive organization practices would be, be would be followed. So, uh, in the that is why they looked at uh, this study they looked at the pro, uh, positive organization pro practices in the healthcare unit as well to see whether it is relevant these practices are relevant and add up to the uh, organizational effectiveness, organizational effectiveness uh, for the healthcare units would be about uh, customer satisfaction, service uh, uh, service delivery uh, and uh, quality of the care, managerial support etcetera. So, those things are the outcome for the healthcare unit and in this study also uh, authors found that positive organization practices result into uh, improvement in the uh, record in, in in improvement in the turnover numbers means the intention to quit amongst the employees uh, whether doctors or nurses that were that was lower in those health units which were having more positive practices uh, patient satisfaction was high organizational climate were more, was more positive employee participation in the organization was higher where the positive practices uh, were more prevalent, uh, quality of care, management support and resource adequacy were also higher in those units where there was more positive organization practices. So, we can see in this study that uh, positive organization practices have positive impact on the uh, or positive association on organizational effectiveness, whether it is uh, organization which by nature focuses on wealth creation, financial wealth creation or whether it is an organization 
which by nature is oriented towards service and care. We need to understand as HR student why these positive organization practices have positive impact or favorable impact on organizational effectiveness. So, in the same paper uh, Cameron and colleague talk about three lines or three aspects of the effects of the positive practices amplifying effect, buffering effect and heliotropic effect. Amplifying effect comes from a very basic theory of positive organization scholarship or positive psychology uh, that theory is known as broaden and build theory. Broaden and build theory suggests that our ability and propensity to experience more positive emotions increases if we experience few positive emotions. Means, if I experience one positive emotion like gratitude, there is a my propensity and ability to experience other positive emotion like wisdom or like uh, courage that increases. So, that logic also applies in the organizational setting. When there are positive practices about respect, care or uh, uh, compassion or forgiveness, even these few practices if they are started that result into other practices and other positive behaviors naturally. So, one positive characteristic build or leads to next positive characteristic and that virtuous cycle goes on and that is the amplifying effect of the positive practices in organizations. What is the buffering effect? Buffering effect is that irrespective of the nature of industry or the nature of market or the economy, any organization faces all organizations have to sometime face some downturn. It may be because of the novel technology, may be because of the increasing competition, change in regulation or there can be so many other factors because of which organization face challenge. The positive practices in the organization also work as buffer against negativity within and outside of the organizational environment. So, that builds the sense of solidarity and positive culture and resilience which is very helpful in the difficult times. So, it is important for organization to keep on looking, keep on investing, keep on promoting positive practices because it is not only helpful in the good times, it builds resilience and solidarity which is very useful in the tough time, in the challenging times and no organization can say that they will never face any challenge irrespective of whatever resources they have or whatever attract, however attractive market they are operating. Third effect uh, is heliotropic effect. Heliotropic word comes from helio and tropism. Helio means light, tropism means movement. Heliotropic effect is related to human tendency to be attracted towards positive aspects of life that is why it is compared with lighting. So, when there are positive practices, organizations result into fostering the positive energy amongst the members and positive energy produces elevated performance. So, uh, positive energy naturally results into better performance because uh, the concentration is higher, people have less hassle uh, about their work, people are more helpful to each other naturally and they feel like contributing. So, heliotrophic effect is the another reason why positive organization practices result into organizational effectiveness.